the, the screen is screaming at you. You A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Mutations, why you come back to now? Oh, I slid in way too hard. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> okay, good morning, fellow math mutations. Um, last time around, a few days prior to the making of this video, I created this video over on Flemmy2. A little short video, check out Flemmy2 for way more shorts. And I straight it up, copied this idea from my boy, the Fuchs, a regular participant on my math ventures and Christmas specials. And actually, he used quite a clickbaity title that I'm going to use too to pay tributes to my boy, uh, tributes to my boy um, the Fuchs. He he said the answer to this question is hmm, we can interpret it either way. So on the one hand we can interpret it like this: this the screen is screaming at you. For, or the other um, solution is for the mathematical verse people who are going to say, well, obviously it's four factorial. This is the quiet solution you could say with non-aggressiveness included and <laughs> uh, yeah we are going to create um, infinitely many of those fresh toad walker styled viral math problems today which are going to spark a lot of boomer arguments over on boomer book and the fresh toad walker channel. Oh, Fresh Toad Walker, my biggest freaking idol. And yeah this is one of the questions that I created with this method that we are going to find out today. So, um, and, and the cool thing about our method is going to be that we can actually analytically continue everything or let's say it, everything is already analytically continued so you can include pi in those my viral math problems. But, but never mind. So let us take a look at the two possible solutions, okay? Let us ignore any kind of field axiom, okay? Let's act like there are no fields out there in mathematics. Meaning what we are going to do is we are going to place um, parentheses here, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but let's just do it like this and let's say, okay, our um, sum up here is, is going to act on the 103 that we are going to have right here in the division. Meaning if we were to subtract um, 103 from 7 to 21 we are going to get 618 which is obviously divisible by 103 giving us 6 in the process. Okay, this is the answer that is going to scream at you. But if we just um, use all the nice field axioms and just do the order of operations right how you should do it okay if there are no implicit um, parentheses placed then we are going to divide 103 the by 103 at first giving us 1, 721 minus 1 is going to give us 720 which is obviously 6 factorial not 6 it's 6 factorial and yeah this is one of the solutions that you could get out but how do those equations actually look like so we have two types of equation so I already gave you a tiny little hint with the whole parentheses situation going on here so on the one hand we're going to have okay I'm going to go by the scheme that um, Johan used. Um, you can do it either way. You can call those A, B, C and then you are going to have infinitely many solutions where you need to specify a C at, at first for example. Or we are going to go by the scheme where those two numbers are actually equal. Meaning we are going to have A minus B divided by B being equal to something. Okay? So let us take a look at the first equation. Let's say A minus b divided by b is equal to. Okay, so what did we get out on the other side? So on the one hand we could do it the wrong way and say okay we are going to act like we are taking the sum and we are going to divide the whole thing by b. Meaning our first equation is going to be a minus b divided by b giving us and what did we get there at first? I mean if we take a look up here we are going to get just 6 overall. Meaning this is the thing without the factorial, meaning it's just some number n. This right here is going to be our first equation. Now we can do it the other way, the mathematically right way and say okay what we are going to do is we are going to take a and subtract b divided by b which is always going to result in 1 from it. Meaning the second equation is a minus 1 being equal to and this is going to give us the factorial solution. Meaning and factorial. And those are our two equations that we can now simply manipulate and solve the system of equations which is fairly easy to be honest because on the second equation we can just add 1 to both sides giving us a being hence nothing other than n factorial plus 1 and now we can just um, solve this e equation that we have up here. I mean if we were to split up our summation up here in the numerator we are going to get a divided by b minus b divided by b is 1 hence nothing other than n. We can add 1 on both sides giving us a 
divided by b is equal to n plus 1. And now we can uh, multiply both sides by b and divide both sides by n, minus, uh, n plus 1 under the condition that's not equal to 0. Um, we are going to get into the into the whole situation of restrictions in a second, meaning we are going to get overall that b is nothing other than a divided by n plus 1. But a by our definition up here is nothing other than n plus 1, giving us overall that b is now n factorial plus 1 divided by n plus 1. And it is as easy as it could possibly get. This is what your numbers need to look like for you to get those trick equations. And well, we can just go through the process and take a look at here. I mean, how to generate this solution or this equation that I have up here, this viral math problem. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I want to have six right here. Okay, as, as being our n, as our solution. Plugging six into here is going to give you, okay, six factorial plus one is 721, which is the number here. And if we were to plug this into here, we're going to get 721 divided by seven, which is obviously 103. This is very easy to calculate. There are a few numbers n where it doesn't work nicely um, and I think this is the case for each and every odd n. For example, if we were to plug in uh, a being equal to, uh, let's say n being equal to 3, let's go with n, then we are going to get, okay, n factorial plus 1 or 3 factorial plus 1 is going to give us 7. Okay, so a is equal to 7 and we are going to have that b is equal to, okay, this is 7 divided by 4, which doesn't work out very nicely, to be honest, because then you would need to include something like um, 7 minus 7 over 4 with the double dot 7 over 4. Thing is, you can just um, take the reciprocals here on the b because this would destroy your whole equation or your whole trick question. That's the only problem here. But one other cool fact that I talked about before is that um, our solution right here is actually analytically continued already, meaning <laughs> what we have here can actually turn into the gamma function. And one very interesting solution, which is going to work out, is going to be the case for um, n being equal to, uh, it should be one half, okay? Taking a look at one half factorial. One half factorial is gamma of negative one half, which is going to give you the square root of pi, which is pretty cool if you ask me, okay? Meaning one solution that we can also get, which does work out for this trick equation, is going to be um, for n, being equal to one half, giving us one half factorial plus one, which is going to result in square root of pi plus one. And then for our b, we are going to get the square root of pi plus one. And then we are going to get, I mean, over n plus one, okay, which is going to be three over two. Once again, we have the same situation as here. You would need to leave the um, fractions as they are when plugging them into the viral math problem, but I think that would be a cool viral math problem. Okay, just putting these numbers out, <laughs> pretty good. Um, speaking of which, um, I said we are going to talk about a few restrictions. Um, what can our n not be? Our n cannot be equal to negative one, or if we want to analyt analytically continue it, it can be equal to any kind of um, to any kind of negative integer, okay? This is just something that you can't have. And yeah, this basically concludes the video. Just a fun little video talking about um, viral math problems and how you can actually generalize those. Another episode of Mathematics Gone Wrong Done Right. And I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did like what you saw today, then you might maybe as well like our sponsor, Brilliant, who are kind enough to sponsor yet another video here on this channel. And I'll tell you what, they got some very nice educational content on their website that you should definitely check out. If you also like my good friend, the Pa, then you're definitely also going to love Bruin, which are going to give you a wide variety of topics related to all things STEM, be it um, mathematics, physics, computer sciences, and the like. They're going to provide you with one of the best interactive learning experiences out there on the internet. And they already helped me out a lot too when learning bit more about Python or linear algebra, um, Markov chains and the like, multivariable calculus. I for myself never had a formal multivariable calculus or analysis free course at my university. I just didn't do that and 
brilliant, really helped me out with learning about um, stuff like the Jacobian a bit more and just um, doing a change of variable, for, for example, on uh, multivariable upper and lower bounds um, on integrals. And if you also want to learn something new, something that you didn't know about before, then I actually encourage you to try out Brilliant today because, yeah, overall, it's just a lot of fun dealing with the interactive content and I can't get enough of it. Check out my live streams, you are going to see that I for myself really have a lot of fun going through their courses and this really speaks for itself if you ask me. So if you want to try it out, if this feels like it's something for you, then make sure to check out the link at the top of the description. With it, you can access a big portion of Brain for free already, but more importantly, the first 200 people to actually use the link at 20% off an annual premium subscription, which is a great deal considering how much content they have available on their website already and they are expanding their repertoire of course Courses, um, each and every month so yeah you are never going to run out of, of content ever <laughs> so tr trust me on that um, yeah try out the link support the channel this way and I thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video and subscribe, subscribe recommend channel if you like if you want support channel with more yeah buy my new stuff okay <laughs> this one right here and I'm in the next video I wish you guys a flumble day ciao